patient with non-painful heart bump in the occipital region of the head or back of the head. What is heart bump back of the head? What is the most likely diagnosis? Most common cases is occipital spars. Occipital spar is exaggerated external occipital protrumbers. You can see here, it's here also, and you can see that it's protrude part and overgrowth part of the bone. It could be smooth as a rope when you palpate. You can palpate, you can feel it, and it can be rough or it can be smooth, both. Usually, it's, it is located on midline, so you can feel it, and it's usually sy symmetrical also, and usually it does not require any treatment. So it's only anatomical variation, and sometimes people feel it, and sometimes, sometimes they afraid because of this overgrowth, and because of bony overgrowth is not very comfortable, but usually no symptoms and no need any treatment if it causes symptoms if if it compress any nerves and causing pain or it's very big then surgical uh, removal is possible and treatment is surgery but in most cases no need any treatment another common cause is occipital osteoma generally occipital osteoma is not common condition it is considered rare condition but if we have bone overgrowth uh, in the back of the head it can be occipital osteoma possibility is 20 percent and you can see this clearly defined borders usually it's more massive usually it's more rogue when you palpate it and it's not very symmetrical you can feel it and on the imagining uh, also you can differentiate because uh, occipital parts have same color as nearby bone but in case of occipital osteoma it's well defined edge you can notice well defined edge and it's mass and overgrowth of bone it's benign tumor. Also, it's not malignant and it has good prognosis and in most cases no need any treatment also. And whole life person can be with this benign tumor, uh, occipital osteoma, and no symptoms. Sometimes if it's large enough, it can cause some symptoms such as pain and discomfort and surgical removal also option if there is symptom and occipital osteoma also can develop other part of the body so it's not only uh, only for back of the head generally osteoma can develop uh, can be developed in other parts such as skull spine and different bones another cause of this bump can be osteochondroma but um, back of the head is not typical place for osteochondroma even osteochondroma is one of the most common uh, benign tumor of bone and 35 percent of benign tumors of bone accounts osteochondroma it's very rare on on the back of the head very rare it's more common among uh, other bones, long bones, arms, femur, and hips, and other long bones, it's common. And what is characteristic? Characteristic is cartilage capped bony spar. You can see here is cartilage. This is cartilage. Um, and cartilage capped bone. It's characteristic for osteochondroma. Osteochondroma is also osteochondroma is also benign tumor and usually no need any treatment. You can see here this is uh, this is cap 
cartilage cup and this is bone spar you can see here also this is cartilage this is bone spar so generally osteochondroma is common but very rare on the head and another cause can be lipoma lipoma is benign tumor of fat we have fat tissue overgrowth you can see this is fat tissue subcutaneous subcutaneous fat tissue overgrowth it can be soft when you touch as a soft lump and it's different so if person says that he has hard bump on the head it's usually bone overgrowth it's not lipoma but lipoma is generally common that's why we mention it and there is still 20 percent probability that person thinks that it's hard and it's actually lipoma lipoma also common and in many cases no need treatment but surgical removal also possible thank you for your interest thank you for your watch if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now